Welcome. Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. You may or may not have seen some of the headlines. It said Zillow sues the multiple listing service in Arizona and are also suing another multiple listing service in Wisconsin. Why? Well, it's not really that complicated to me. And I, I just think they're way off base on this. Now, Zillow is registered as a fellow brokerage here in Arizona. I think that kind of muddies the water a little bit. I need to be a little bit careful what I say, but since the lawsuit is public knowledge, I, I definitely have an opinion. So will this harm the consumer? No, not in my opinion. Will it retract from you, the home buyer, home seller, and services that you need? No. Well, what's up? Well, Zillow owns this software that used to be on our multiple listing service that they purchased. <clears throat> Actually, they leased it called Showing Time. Now, showing time used to be available for us agents for about $70 a month, way back when, I think 2013. Then it got integrated into our multiple listing service, and it's a scheduling service software. I'll show you what it is right here. And showing time is an appointment center, and it, it's really actually quite good. Um, so you can, and it also has a whole bunch of data and everything that you can look at how many showings has there been in your market and stuff you can pay more money to access more data but for agents like me what it was was and zillow bought this so what it what it is is you go in and you look at a listing on the multiple listing service and there'll be a tab there that says make an appointment via showing time you click on there so let's say i'm looking at five homes i got a client that wants to see five homes on saturday i <clears throat> put those five homes in what's called a showing cart inside a showing time here on Saturday on the 11th. I'm going to show five homes. Boom. I load them in. Then you click this slick little button called smart route and it arranges them in the best order for you so that you're not driving from this side of the valley to the other, to the back part, it puts them in a nice order. You look at it and go, okay, that that'll work. You can change it if you want. Then you go into the first stop and say, okay, we're going to start at, 10 o'clock in the morning. So you put in 10 and I'm going to stay there until 1030. So you go 10, 1030. Then you go to the next one and say, okay, it's going to take me 15 minutes to drive there. So I'm going to go 1045 to 11 o'clock. And you do that with each stop. Once you've done that, then you click one button that says send requests. The requests go out to the real estate agents and in some cases, the homeowners to approve your schedule. Now, if the time that you're requesting isn't available, it's not going to show up. I can't request 10 o'clock if somebody else has requested 10 o'clock. So it's a slick little tool. Now, there are some agents out there. Oh, I like to make phone calls. Great. Go ahead and do that. Call the agent. Schedule uh, takes a lot longer. Anything that can save us time when it comes to scheduling and arranging routes, I'm all for it. Now, there are some agents that say, well, you're just scheduling it on there and you're not calling and finding anything out about the house. You've got plenty of time to do that. I use this for scheduling. It's so easy. I loved showing time. Well, why did the MLS get rid of it? Well, here's the rub. <clears throat> showing time got bought by Zillow. Now, Zillow isn't just this company that shows you the price of your home or anything. They are an active brokerage here in Arizona. They had to uh, join our MLS because remember they were buying and selling homes for, at one point when they until they decided to stop. So that's like another competitive brokerage buying this software that we all use and saying here, uh, you now have to pay us to use this. Well, we're not in the habit of paying other brokerages for their products. So the multiple listing service is using another service that's called Aligned, and it's right here. And Aligned is just like Showing Time. It's got all the features and everything. It's got route optimization, collaboration tools, showing preferences. There's so much behind the software on these that, you know, even your, <clears throat> your clients can tell you, I don't want any showings between this hour and that hour. You can block times out. It just makes life simpler. So why is Zillow suing? Here's what I don't get. Here's what I don't agree with. They're saying here... Zillow Group sues listing services in Arizona and Wisconsin over showing time access. It says, what does the suit allege? One of the functions of the MLS aligned is to develop products for agents in partner MLSs. The suit targets one of the network specific products aligned showing, 
which was initially offered a long time showing time. Zillow alleges that rather than competing on the merits, MLS aligned and its members conspired to remove showing time integration and create a monopoly in the regions for their showing management platform. Now, I am a free market guy. I love competition. I like to see Coca-Cola battle it out with Pepsi, may the best product win. But this didn't make sense to have two different showing softwares on the MLS, and here's why. Not every agent was using, using Aligned, and not every agent was using Showing Time. So if I put a listing up there, and I use Showing Time, and then another agent puts a listing up there, and he's not using Showing Time, and he's using Aligned, they don't talk to each other. I can no longer do the smart route. I can do the smart route for everything that's in showing time. I can do the smart route what's in aligned. And then somehow I have to figure out manually how to merge the two because inside these softwares were also GPS coordinates. So you could route out your route and it would tell you where to go. Oh, you're done with the showing? Okay, let's go to the next house, next house, next house. You can't do that with two different software systems. So I'm sorry, Zillow. We can't have both. They chose not to use showing time for all of the reasons that we just stated that you owned it. We decided as a multiple listing service to go to Align. But there was a period where in December we were using both and it was utter chaos. Agents were complaining like crazy. And the MLS said, well, look, we're, we're phasing out January uh, showing time on January 3rd. So go ahead and start using Align. And some people are going, oh, it's difficult. I can't learn it. It's tough. Agents don't like to learn new stuff. Let's face it. So once they got rid of it, life got simpler. People jumped in, started using a line. Now you don't have these choices that you have to go back and forth. So I just don't see that this lawsuit's going to go anywhere. And I don't see any indication at all that it's going to harm you, the consumer, one bit. You don't care how we set up the appointments. You care when you're listing your house, how we get your house on the MLS. And it's kind of nice to get a text message that says, there's a showing request for your house at 10 o'clock on Saturday. Would you like to take it? You look on your phone and you go, yes. Or you say, no, let's reschedule. It's very convenient. It's a great service. Both of them are great. None of them are great if you're trying to do them both at the same time. So just one more lawsuit to watch in this crazy business. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rickatrickhelps.com. Take care.